subscapers and welcome to the chosen commander quest guide. The requirements are land of the goblins, 46 agility, strength and thieving. The item requirements are magic or melee weapon and armor, equip them and remember runes if you are using magic. Do not use ranged because some of the enemies are immune to it. If you are low level, take some food, get yourself a light source, example would be white candle, Make sure it is lit, one set of ham ropes, they are obtainable during the quest as well, 5000 coins and 10 free inventory spaces. The recommendations are a skills necklace unless you will be using Ardo in Lowstone, Super Restore or Prayer Potion if you are low level, and the enemies to defeat are between level 49 to 77. Let's go! To start off, use the lowstone to Lumrich. Make sure you have a light source. Go west and climb down the trapdoor in the kitchen. We are heading to Dorcas Khan. Go east through the hole. Right click Kaskar, follow, Absor 1, Dorgesun Mines. Go south through the door. Go southwest. Keep going to south, towards the market. Talk to Captain Undak to your east without a familiar. Option 2. Option 1. Option 2. Accept the quest. Go north, climb up the stairs. In the nursery, talk to Mernik, that is the building next to the quest icon on your minimap. It is the adult goblin. Talk to Torsek outside. Option 4, option 1, twice. Talk to any child, option 1. Go northwest, climb down the stairs and talk to Captain Undak right after climbing down the stairs. Option 3. Go south, and when you get to the market, southeast of the market, talk to Markok. Option 1. West of you, talk to Turgok. Option 1. Go east around the corridor, talk to Merchant Walton. The chat option numbers might be different, look at the answers. Option 1. Option 1. Option 4. Option 1. Kill the merchant. It cannot be ranged. Ah! 
Talk to Zanik, any option twice. Option 1. Jump on the Goblin Statue, southwest of the Bowl Statue. Jump across the statues. If the jump option doesn't appear, click on the heads of the statues. Make your way to the water pool statue. Keep jumping to north, towards the crossbow. Take the crossbow. Click on the giant statue with the spear to grapple. Pick up the pendant on the chair. Look into the statue with the bowl. Go west and enter the portal. The statues will move out of your way. Talk to Zanik, option 1. Make sure Zanik is following you. Go north and climb up the stairs. Any option? Option 3 Option 1 Talk to Captain Undak Option 1 Option 4 Go south, all the way to the most southern stairs, and climb them up. Go south and climb up the stairs. We will appear at Agility Course. Descend the nearby ladder to your southwest. Follow the path to east. Go south. On your minimap, there's a tunnel icon. South of it, talk to Zanik. Option 4. Option 4. Option 4. Option 4. Option 2. Any option? Option 4 Option 1 
any option any option talk to Zenic option 4 talk to Captain Undark you will get a set of hammer ropes option 1 twice put on the hammer ropes and prepare for a battle Use the lowstone to lower it. We are heading to the ham headquarters. It is north from here. Right click and pick lock the old mine entrance and enter it. Go south, talk to Johan Hus. Option three, Option three, Option three, Option one. Use this skills necklace fishing guild, teleport or the Ardine lowstone and equip your combat gear to remove the ham ropes. Make sure you don't have any pieces on. Go into the windmill and talk to Milton. Option 1 twice. Climb down the ladder. Go east through the door. Talk to the guard next to the prison in the southeast. Option one twice. Option three twice. Head back to the main area. Southwest, right click Ham Agent Sam and pickpocket. Make sure you get a key. Head east, back to the prison guard. Read the letter and talk to the prison guard. Option 1. Enter the prison, take the key from the floor, open the door and talk to the prisoner. Option 4. Head west through the door and go into the kitchen. In the kitchen, squeeze through the hole on the eastern wall. Open one of the two doors and do the same thing as previously. But this time you are going through the other door you didn't go through. Go east to the prison and talk to Crab Food. Option 1, Option 3. Go west through the door, stand north of the guard, talk to him and do not spacebar 
Make sure crop food gets into the western room. If you fail, you will get kicked out and you have to try again. In the western room, talk to crop food, option 2. Squeeze into the kitchen from the western hole. Wait a little bit for the guard to talk to you. Option 1. Any option. In the bedroom, talk to crop food. Option 1. Exit through the eastern door. Go through the big doors northwest. Watch the cutscene and segment will confront you. If you get a chat option, it is 3. Kill segment, any option. If Sanic doesn't attack, segment, climb up the ladder and then climb back down. Kill Zanik repeatedly, the chat options are on the screen, and avoid using bleed attacks because they will cancel the chat options. Go west to trigger an earthquake. Right click the fallen rocks to clear them. Talk to Zanik. Option 4. Option 1. Option 2 twice. Option 1 four times. Go west through the cave. Go north and talk to Chuna.
go northwest and exit the cave. Go north, jump over the stepping stones. Keep going to north. Squeeze through the hole. Right click Kaskar, follow him, option one. Go south through the door. Go southwest. And go south to the market. Between the fountains, talk to Captain Andak. Option 4 twice. Go north and climb upstairs. You will get a cutscene. Choose any option. Close the scroll when it pops up. Climb up. Talk to the Goblin Scribe. Option 1. Option 2. Option 1. Go south, climb down. Go south, towards the market. East of the quest icon on your minimap, talk to Tech Duck, option 2. Go northwest and climb up the same stairs as previously. Talk to Goblin Scribe, option 1, twice. Go south, climb down the stairs. Go northeast and exit the city by going through the bone door. Talk to Mistag, option 1. Go south and return to the city. Go to the northwestern corner. Talk to Oldak. Option 1. Any option? Option 1. Twice. Go south and make your way back to the Agility Arena.
climb up the stairs and keep going to south. At the Agility Arena, head east. Climb down the stairs to the power station. Talk to Turgal with at least two free inventory shots. Option two. Climb up the stairs. Go northwest. Climb down the stairs. We are making our way back to the market, so keep on going to north and climb down the stairs. After the stairs, head east and talk to Oldak. Option 1. Nearby, talk to Zanik. Option 1, twice. Option 3. Go north, back to the nursery, climb up the stairs along the way. The nursery is on the eastern side. Enter it and talk to Mernik inside. Option 1, twice. Northwest building from the nursery. Head over there and talk to the ambassador. Option 2, option 1. Go south, back to Mernik, option 1 twice. Climb down the stairs and return to Zanik, who is southeast of the market. Option 2 Defeat the Pandos Avatar Option 4 Pick up the crossbow parts while you are killing the statues you can see them on your minimap and there are four in total. Use the crossbow pieces together to make the crossbow. Kill the avatar again, option 4. Pro 
from the ground, take the avatar's pendant. Talk to Zanik, option 4, twice. Option 3. Option 2. Option 3, twice. Go west through the portal with Zanik. During the cutscene, click anywhere to skip it. Congratulations! One more thing. After the quest, you can go to the northwest part of this place, talk to Oldak while having law runes and molten glass in your inventory, and that way you can make different kinds of goblin sphere teleports. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and see you in the next one.